The number two yellow pencil is like so. Yesterday, school supplies are changing with the digital age, and so is the age of the masterminds creating the latest innovative products. They're truly young and brilliant. Watch out, Einstein, the next big inventor. May actually be kind of small. It's a race to the top. For the first time ever, the office school supplier Staples is asking kids, anyone under the age of 18, for their ideas. And some of our most important customers are kids. So what better way of coming up with the next best office product than having kids themselves invent the products that kids will buy? So coming to a store near you, perhaps... Tape, you can retape. So you can use it twice. Yeah. If you think you've got the next big idea, enter the invention quest. For more info, log on to our website, cw11.com slash trulyjulie. Nicholas is up early and he's in New York for Staples Invention Quest competition. And that is a nationwide search for the next amazing office or school supply. And he joins us now. I think they should enter the Staples Invention Quest. It's open to everybody. Uh, you can enter at Staples website, www.staples.com slash IQ and uh, where they could enter in a Staples store. I think that's really the best way because there are no real competitions out there that will help inventors get their inventions on the shelves. I am here in New York today to help Staples launch their Invention Quest contest. And, and the real reason I'm here is because I have three children, and I think it's just fantastic that Staples is opening up the contest to kids this year with Invention Quest for Kids. Staples is acknowledging kids and validating their ideas and saying to them, hey, you know what? Nobody knows better than you what's going to simplify your day at school. So we want to hear from you kids. Give us your ideas, and we're going to pay you $25,000 and help get your product on the shelves at Staples, and you can potentially get royalties off your invention and it's really easy to enter you just have to go to um, the website which is uh, staples.com slash IQ and they give you all the information everything you need to know about the contest and how to enter it. There's salt for paper. Kids are naturally inventive. They solve problems using their creativity every single day. So I wasn't surprised to discover some pretty cool office inventions made by kids this week in New York. Staples sponsored a contest called Invention Quest. Kids from around the country participated, and five of them made it to the NASDAQ market site this week to collect checks. Four of them received $5,000, and one of them, Keegan from Washington State, took home the grand prize of $25,000. In order to innovate and to have technology innovation, we must constantly hire the best and brightest scientists and engineers. And so what we really want, and it's really very, very important for the future of Xerox, is that bright children and bright teenagers dream and think of becoming scientists and engineers. It's on the internet and it is a, well, it's an invention competition. It's put together by Xerox, a national invention competition. And guess what? Two of the most popular kids in the country and oh, one, yeah. three extremely inventive kids are all here to talk That's about. That's right. The two that we're going to meet right now, stars of uh, two hit movies that are taking place. This is Caden Boyd. It's nice to meet you this morning. Uh, he's in the extremely popular, I'm sure you took your kids to see it, right? The Adventures of Charlotte. Dark Boy and Lava Girl in now 3D. Now I will. How are you this morning? Good. And you're here with your sister, Jenna Boyd, who's also an actress and inventor herself, by the way, and in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Nice to see you as well this morning. We tonight, a look at some amazing inventions by some very clever youngsters. Katie McGee is here with the details for us. Katie? Well, you guys, it was a nationwide competition called the Chester Awards that asked students to invent a toy, game, or sporting good for children. And the winners who were honored at the Javits Center today, we have to see them to believe them. Norm Goldstein, president of Buy Kids for Kids, the company that partnered with Xerox on the Chester Awards program, says this is a way for kids to be creative and expand their learning. If you would like more information on how to enter the next Chester Award contest, you can log on to our website at cbsnewyork.com and just click on links. Good kids. Great ideas. You know, they're getting awfully inventive in schools these days. Yes, and tonight some area students were honored for putting their creations to work. The winners of the Cool School yeah. Tools yeah. Invention yeah. Challenge yeah. gathered yeah. at yeah. Camden Yards tonight for an awards yeah. ceremony. And all night you could hear the words, what a good idea. Our next guest is helping kids bring out their creativity, and you got a good one next to you. Hip-hop mogul Russell Simmons this is woman. here to explain. He came by earlier, it was, I guess, about a month or so ago to talk about the Scholastic Buy Kids for Kids yeah. program. Yes. And these children are incredible inventors. Kids for Kids uh, program is sponsored by Xerox, and what it does is gives every kid in America, it's going to give every kid in America this tool 
this set of tools so that they can figure out how to manufacture and, di and uh, distribute their ideas. I mean, the idea that anybody can imagine and create you know, a, a new reality or a future for themselves is one that I really endorse through my foundation. And I realize that this is a great tool for children to express themselves. And, and so the, there's an example. and it's, it's great because it's for everybody from kindergarten through right. senior in high school. That's right. And this whole program is wonderful. And I think it's... Uh, it's a, a sure. great and worthy thing, and I'm very proud that you know, I'm involved, and so it's something we and want so to do. And so many people say, where do I start? And that's what the kid gives you, a right. place to start. Yeah. So I'm here at Continuum and I'm waiting for Max. Max is the grand prize winner of the Design Squad Trash to Treasure competition, sponsored by the Intel Foundation. He's a really bright kid. Oh, jeez. It's the home dome. It's a scale model. Scale model of the home dome. What exactly is it? It's a shelter for homeless people or disaster victims. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the pentagons and hexagons, tip them together in these pre-manufactured segments. And then what we'll do is we'll raise it, and the dome will magically assemble. Let's get inside. This is great. Like, really. <laughs> Good job, Max. Yeah. Thanks. New at 6, ever wonder where ideas for new toys come from? Meet 11-year-old Brian Summero, the winner of the Invention Dimension Contest, sponsored by Jack's Pacific, a Malibu-based toy maker. The contest gets kids to brainstorm their own ideas for fun new toys. Summero invented the Puzzler, which he says combines a board game with logic puzzles. Summero beat out thousands of kids to win the Invention Dimension Grand Prize, which includes today's trip to pitch his idea to toy makers. Oh, cute.